Hello, this is Dr. Emre Karadeniz, hair transplant surgeon from AEK Hair Clinic, Turkey. I'm going to talk about hair transplant forums and online reviews. Patients naturally do their researches online to figure out which clinics are more reputable and which surgeons to choose. And they will generally look at two things. One is they'll look at before and after pictures, which is the topic uh, of another educational video. And they will look at online reviews and forums, which they think they're going to get some objective information. But I'm going to give you some information about how uh, internet forums work and reviews. Now, internet forums are companies uh, and they're businesses. So you have to realize this. Most patients don't realize that internet forums are businesses by, owned by someone. They think they're just kind of floating in the air with information. So they have to have ways of making money. The most common way for uh, forums, internet forums related to hair transplants, the most common ways of making money are to charge the doctor. So a doctor pays for a listing. So the forum lists the doctor's name on a list of you know, clinics. They may say these are the clinics, these are the doctors we recommend. And so you pay in return for being listed there. Now, the first thing there, you know, we kind of become very naive in certain parts of our lives. And patients, when they look at these forums, they forget all this. They forget that this website, this, for, this forum is someone's business. They forget that these, this, the, these listings, recommendations of these doctors have to be a part of the business plan. And they just kind of look, oh, these are the recommended, these are the good doctors. But these are the doctors that pay. So if you pay, you'll be listed in websites and there's various websites. So you have to realize this first. Second is that there has to be a punishment for not paying. So there must be something against ones that are not paid. So what will happen? They'll try to prevent on their websites. They'll, ha they'll try to prevent ones that don't pay, prevent doctors being mentioned that don't pay. Or they take it even further, you know, there's moderators or there's members that kind of always write positively here and there about the ones that do pay and they write negative about the ones that don't pay. So, you know, it's a constant business going on. Now, reviews, of course, since paid doctors are welcome more on these forums and non-paying doctors are not so welcomed. Uh, patients of paying doctors will be also more welcomed than ones that are not being paid. So uh, patients who are sharing something regarding a paying doctor will be more encouraged, you know, helped, whereas the others may be even attacked by other members saying, oh, that's not a good doctor or something, you know, they'll be disturbed. So. You have to understand the biased env environment of the internet with regards to online forums and reviews. Now, reviews. Every doctor wants good reviews. You know, that's normal. But, you know, I've done two and a half thousand hair transplants over the last 10 years. So that's a significant amount. Now, there's a limited number of online reviews you will find. Now, when I look into the forums, you'll see some reviews of some doctors that are like three pages. Must have taken two hours for the patient to write their review. Now, I don't think I ever got one of those three page reviews, perhaps one or two. So, what I'm trying to say is that reviews also mostly become a relationship between the clinic and the patient. Most of them are a financial agreement. You know, clinic makes a discount or a rebate, the patient writes a review. Sometimes patient says, oh, do me a discount doctor and I'll write a review. 
or sometimes the doctor will say, if you write a review, I'll make a discount. So, you know, this, I'm not quite into this, you know, everyone knows. So, we don't get these things, but when you look at reviews, you have to always look, th take into this consideration that an important number of those reviews are an agreement between the clinic and the patient. You know, sometimes I'm not, I'm not criticizing it, you know. I'm not criticizing any of these because, you know, websites, they can't do it for free. They're businesses. Perhaps I could criticize if they're not so uh, transparent about it. If they say, this is the list of doctors we recommend because they pay, or this review was written because it's an agreement between, or perhaps, yeah, but uh, it's not. So... When you look at these websites, forums, you have to understand these are businesses. When you look at the things shared, you have to realize there's always this business going on. The reviews, they're not all, there's, there's a lot of patients. I'm not saying all reviews. Of course, there's a number of patients who are just interested to share their experiences. They write reviews, excellent, which is a very good thing. It helps future patients. But if you look carefully into those, you'll be able to tell the ones that were kind of, they, they liked doing it without any agreement or the ones that were probably an agreement between the clinic and the patients. So when you read these things, you have to always bear in mind these truths to be able to make a correct judgment. I hope, you know, this uh, uh, video has been helpful. And thank you for watching it. I hope to see you in the next educational video. Goodbye for now.